So today, for a change of pace, I'm going to be looking at something I, I normally wouldn't buy. Most of the stuff I, I buy, I tend to want to use at work or, or at home, and uh, that, that would be headlamps. Um, this particular one is a night buddy headlamp. We'll get into that a little bit later. But the, the reason why I just I don't like headlamps, it's, it's mostly because usually the beam isn't where your line of sight is like you want to be looking forward and the beam's a little higher or it's a little lower and reason is because everyone's forehead just kind of kind of slopes back a little bit and it's with that fixed light you know i mean it could be pointing up pointing down depending on the shape of your head and the shape of the thing the only headlamp that i've ever actually bought and liked was this guy right here uh this particular excuse me this particular one i saw on big clive's channel um i i uh I, I say his name a lot. I'm going to link him in the video. You guys should check him out. He does a lot of um, a lot of uh, electronic stuff like this. Breaks them down, pulls them apart. He's got a wealth of knowledge on how these things work and uh, give you a little bit better idea how this stuff works. I've been watching him for probably six years now, but um, yeah. So this this particular uh, particular like for what it is, I like it. Um, I think I got this off of uh, eBay. There are clones of this now I see floating around. I'm not sure 100% if they're clones or not, but I can't. I don't want to link you one of these and you end up getting some knockoff piece of junk. But yeah, basically the way this one works, I mean, you just kind of kind of hit your power on there. Try not to blind the camera there. And it actually has an infrared sensor on it and you can kind of turn it on and off with just a wave of the hand. Um, if you have someone arc welding near you, uh, it will turn on and off <laughs> on its own, or sometimes strobe lights going through a factory can cause it to turn on and off. But I mean, it hasn't really been a problem. Usually when I have this, my head's stuffed into something, but, um, yeah, this, this one's been a good one for me for years. And, uh, which, which leads me into the night buddy headlamp. Uh, this one basically is just a, a cob strip going across here. Uh, with LEDs on it, obviously, and then you have a little a little spotlight light over here. Uh, this is the actual packaging. If you've been on social media and you're in that whole trades mechanics realm, you've probably seen one of these getting getting mentioned by somebody. Uh, two three years ago, they did a all out gorilla promotion campaign on these things and just about anybody who had a channel that was doing any type of trade work they gave you one of these things with a discount code and they were everywhere i think back when they first launched these things i think they were like 40 bucks uh since then they've come down to like 35 dollars and um on amazon and all the rest of them they're still promoting these but what i've been seeing a lot of lately is just these no-name ones that are very similar and these i've seen these go for as low as two dollars and fifty cents which is a banger deal as far as as far as these little lights go i mean comparing it to a, the 35 dollar version of it i wasn't 100 percent sure if these were clones and clones is kind of a generic term as far as knockoffs go um you could have clones i mean china has even clones cars like full cars to the point where the body panels are interchangeable with the rear real cars uh something like this they're not going to go to that level as far as cloning goes they're just going to make it look similar enough for it to pass so when you buy it you think you're getting you're getting the real thing at a, at a discounted price we're going to take a look into that to see whether or not this is a clone they also have situations i know from from my rc hobby uh, they'll, they'll do clones as far as you pay a Chinese factory to make your product. Um, you order 50,000 of them, and then the Chinese company says, hey, I could sell more of these. So they make 100,000, give you your order of 50,000. And before your order even shows up on your doorstep for you to start selling them from your warehouse in the United States, uh, China's already got them on wish.com. That, that's happened plenty of times as far as the RC hobby goes. I'm sure that goes for other things. So what we're going to do today, um, we're going to take a look at these two side by side. Before we get into that, we'll talk about what actually is in the advertising uh, claims on them. We'll flip the camera down on the old bench there and uh, we'll, we'll kind of get a good look at them nice side by each and see if there's any, any real differences. 
maybe determine whether or not they are actually coming out of the same factory and then um, at the end there we'll get into my test results as far as what I think as far as what how these things are working uh, compared to each other the $35 to the $2 one so um, yeah let's get into that so real quick before we get into the specs of the thing let's actually kind of show you what the thing looks like on the on the old head there um, and I'll line everything up and this is the night buddy version high low you get a red one for if you're camping or trench warfare then you get a spotlight over here so you can look like Lacutus of Borg and tell people that resistance is futile Star Trek nobody all right just me um, and then you have over here which would be hold on I'm not sure which buttons which let's take a look at the other one uh, the infrared uh, switching on it and basically you just wave your hand across the side of it and it comes on and off and again as far as mechanic stuff goes the infrared thing I think is a must-have um, for the uh, the switching on it you know eat your hands all oily I'm sure this stuff isn't very oil resistant and if you're constantly touching that button it's just gonna dissolve into bush and the no-name guy um, the only real difference with this one is you got a high you got a low and then you got a high spotlight and then you got a low spotlight so that's about it as far as the functionality of the things uh, they are claiming on both of these the no name and the night buddy uh, eight hours of runtime that of course would be under uh, the lowest setting the night buddy I'm guessing would be the um, red LEDs and on the no name that would be the low spotlight setting um, both of them have a IPX, sorry, a ingress protection rating, which is an IP. Uh, the IP rating on this would be X7. Um, the first digit in IP rating is dust is, or solid particulates, as we've discussed in other videos. Uh, X means that it's not tested, which is kind of weird that they would just do that because they're making up the seven parts so why not make up the first part of it because there's no way in hell that this we'll look at it when we get closer but there's no way in hell that this is um seven rated as far as liquid ingress protection and seven is seven or sorry seven is three feet of water for 30 minutes i believe and yeah when we look down this you'll be like yeah that's bull crap um the no name I, I would say is honestly making a more honest assessment as far as its IP rating. It's again IPX4, and four is basically just splashing water, rain, you know, a light garden hose. It, it's rated for, I mean, it would be protected against as far as water ingression goes. Um, the weight on both of them, give or take. 100 grams is, is what what my scales say and what the actual um, uh, packaging says on the thing. Uh, battery, Night Buddy does not, as far as I could see, uh, does not give you a rating on the battery. But the No Name gives you a 1200 uh, milliamp hour rating on the thing. So, yeah, let's um, flip the camera down and we'll kind of give a good side-by-side -side look at these things. Maybe measure some stuff and try to figure out if this is uh, an actual... Uh, knockoff clone where somebody made the same looking thing or if they just came out of the same factory either way it'll be interesting all right let's do the old side-by-side -side comparison here and I mean you can kind of see looking at them from above are pretty much exactly the same exact molding going on there aside from night buddy putting their little stencil on the side I did when I took the no name one out of the package first I wasn't sure if there was going to be any distinguishing markings before so before I took the night buddy out I put a little neon green zip tie on the no name one just to make sure I didn't get confused as to which one was which but again the stenciling kind of clears that up but yeah so I mean side by side you're looking here pull the light strip out I mean they're pretty much exactly the same if I line them up right they're exactly the same length um, on the back here you got these here uh, this little foam pad, it kind of feels like an open cell type deal. That's probably for sweat and comfort, I guess we'll call. And now as far as the functionality side by side goes, kind of make it so there's the same amount of strip exposed so it doesn't look like one's brighter than the other. And yeah, just hit the button. Both of those are on high. 
and then we go to low for both of them and here's where things are going to change up a little bit the night buddy gives you a led a red led light strip and the no name one gives you a high spotlight that would stick out the side of your head there and then we're gonna have to cycle all the way through because we waited too long red spotlight and then when you do that this spotlight goes down to medium which the camera is showing it flickering it's not showing I'm not seeing it flickering in real life and the night buddy one just has a high high setting spotlight now all that kind of tells me that both of these units have the same control chip in them instead of this one turning on a red one it just turns on this light it has two powers for this light instead of having the red strip or at least that's what I'm thinking now as far as the motion sensor goes um, these two little dots right here these are the IR detectors and you kind of turns them on and off that's actually kind of cool all right now I'm just playing there <laughs> now let's get into some measuring this is a lot of soft material so we're not going to be too accurate but it'll be enough for us to kind of get an idea like I said even China won't wouldn't bother direct knocking off a, a two dollar and well as low as two dollar and fifty cent products so the night buddy 32 millimeter give or take the no name about the same uh, the actual headband width 23 24 millimeters give or take again 23 24 millimeters I mean let's even check the clip here that's something you know be something easy just to swap out with something else the width of the clip about 27 and I think this one what's this one kind of come over here and just kind of get the actual other width of it so we're looking at come on a little hard to do this on so like 27 by 25 and again 25 and I can't do that one because I got my zip tie there but I, I think you get the point and one last thing that I forgot to talk about before we uh, switched the camera around was the uh, IP rating. If you remember, the Night Buddy was claiming an IPX7, which is apparently waterproof, down to three feet for what, 30 minutes, I think is what the rating is. And um, you can see it's just got this little flap that covers the USB-C port for charging. Um, plus this... There, there's, there's not much waterproofing going on in here as far as I can see. So in my humble opinion, uh, I, that's why I think that IPX7 rating is a little bit of BS. Whereas to the no-name one, I mean, this thing's sitting on the side of your head, so it's kind of waterproof up here. Same USB-style uh, flap cover to uh, keep the water out of it. But uh, yeah, IPX4, I think, is a more legitimate rating as far as the waterproofing goes on this thing so that's about it for for the side-by-side -side comparison i will say for legal reasons in my humble opinion these two things are coming out of the same factory i i just don't see even china bothering doing it that close of a clone for a two dollar and fifty cent headlamp my opinion of course but um yeah so let's get into the specs of these things that, that i've actually found myself uh the night buddy will do batteries first uh has a now what i did for testing the battery when i got both of these out of the package um i hung them on a little thing over there turned them on let them completely die waited an hour turned them back on both of them ran for like another minute or two and then they died so the battery was dead flat when i charged them up uh the night buddy which would be this guy right here uh as far as the battery goes it has a give or take 1100 milliamp hour battery it takes two hours to charge two hours 10 minutes give or take a little bit again and it charges at 0.6 amps now the no name the battery when i charged it it charged it took i should say 
1200 milliamp hours to charge well 1200 milliamp hours got put into it it took two hours and 30 minutes to come to a full charge and it charged at 0.4 amps pretty much the entire time until we got to the end and then it, then it shuts off now getting into runtime this is kind of where things get a little weird but i'll explain why they get weird a little, a little bit later on, but uh, runtime on both of these lights. I took them and did a little time lapse with a with a, um, a clock next to them. The Night Buddy lasts four hours and thirty minutes, running on its highest setting, which is the high for the actual light strip here. And the No Name ran for three hours and fifteen minutes. On its highest setting. Now, the thing is, you're saying to yourself, well, why would the Night Buddy run longer for uh, less less battery capacity than the No Name? And it, it just comes down to efficiency. The both of these, and it's funny because, which is one of the reasons why I was kind of curious, because all of these things they always say stays cool, which kind of makes me think you're compensating for something. Both of these up against the head. I, Put it on against my bare skin, let it run for 30 minutes, and I stuck a little thermocouple in there. And both of these against the skin, which would be this part of the strip here, uh, we we're looking at uh, 95 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, I mean, human body te temperature is closer, well, closer to um, 98.6, but that's your core. Your actual skin usually, depending on where you are and what the situation is, usually floats around 80 some odd 90 degrees so yeah 95 degrees fahrenheit or 35 degrees c against the skin i will say that you can feel it it's not like a heating pad against your forehead but you can feel the heat against your forehead now for me i always wear a hat at work and um yeah when i when i put this on it will be against my hat i think if you're in like the summertime and you're sweating this might become a little bit uncomfortable but like i said if you got it on a hard hat you're not going to notice it if you got a hat bandana uh, headband whatever it, you're 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 not going to notice it it's not that hot now where the actual um uh, shortness of time for the uh no name guy comes in is the actual outside of the leds you can physically feel the outside of the leds are hotter on the no-name one, which is probably why it lasts less less time. This is probably just a less efficient cob compared to the Night Buddy cob, the LED strip there. And on the Night Buddy one, I was getting 117 degrees Fahrenheit on different. Depends on like what actually you're touching on the thing, because it's it's really localized as far as the temperature would go. So I kind of had to kind of move it around and just look for the hottest spot. And on the Night Buddy one, the outside here, we were looking at 107 degrees. So that's why it lasts a little bit longer than the No Name one. It just has more efficient, it has a more efficient LED on the thing and it runs cooler. So heat is a waste product. So that's pretty much what it comes down to. So final thoughts. Um, $35 compared to this $10 one I bought off of Amazon. Like I said earlier in the video, uh, these particular ones, I've seen as many as six for $35. I didn't think I needed six. That's why I just bought the cheapest one, the cheapest single one I could find. But um, yeah, I mean, I can't tell any significant difference between the two of them as far as the functionality goes. Uh, I, I will say... I mean, you got to be careful buying anything off of Ch uh, Chinese direct uh, vendors like like TikTok shop. I mean, one, I just refuse to give TikTok any of my money because it's a horrible company. And um, yeah, so I mean, the two dollar and fifty cent rating, maybe they put a cheaper battery in it at the two dollar and fifty cent price. I should say they might put a cheaper battery in it, maybe a cheaper LED strip. Y you never know. Even this ten dollar one, you know, the next batch they get in might have cheaper led strips in it and i mean that goes for the night buddy too it's not like this thing is like night buddy is some proven brand like a milwaukee or dewalt you know what i mean they they could just as easily start putting cheap crap in these things too so it's like anything you're getting from china but i mean me personally i i got this off of amazon because i just don't buy direct 
ship from China because you'll get screwed. I've been screwed doing the same thing. Even Temu, if you look at their Better Business Bureau rating, the people complaining about just not getting products. And what are you going to do? Sue China? I mean, hopefully your credit card can block the transaction, but after a certain amount of time, your credit card says, well, I mean, it's been too long. We can't do anything about it. They already got the money. So keep that in mind whenever you're buying stuff direct from China, which I never do. But, um, yeah, I mean, I hate to say it because I'm old and I don't like my mind to be changed, but I kind of, kind of a believer now with this, <laughs> this stupid thing for my testing, as far as poking my head around with this thing, I actually... I kind of like it. Um, reason being is, and I'll show you so they get the strap a little bit tighter here. Um, short of the heat, and like I said, that's not going to be applicable to me because I always wear a hat. But this LED strip that you have right here, they're, they're claiming 230 degrees of light, which, all right. But, I mean, over here, holding, holding my hands out like this, on either side of my hands, I can actually see... You might even be able to see it on camera. Yeah, I mean, you can see out of my peripheral vision, my hands being being lit up. And I mean, same thing up here, and same thing down here. And it basically illuminates everything your eyes can look at without moving your head, which is my biggest qualm with the spotlight style headlamps is because you're, you know, you're working on something, you look over here, you don't necessarily turn your head to look at it, which is, again, kind of the annoyance with these, these spotlight style ones, whereas this one, it just kind of feels like what you're looking at is naturally illuminated, which was kind of a surprise to me. But um, yeah, like I said, just like going around in the dark in my house, kind of walking around with it, poking around in the back of my van, looking around for things in there. I kind of like it, and I think I'm actually going to start using this. Not on a daily basis, I still don't like having goofy things strapped to my head but I mean there, there are situations you know we got my head stuffed in a greasy hole and I need light and I don't have room for a, for a flashlight or anything like that or if I just need something quick I, I kind of like it so um yeah I think that's about it for these guys um I will link the night buddy if you're nervous about no name stuff and I'll link this guy for 10 bucks in the description um you kind of make your own decision as far as how you want to spend your money. If it were my money, I'd buy three of these for $30 or $35 as opposed to one of these for $35 and then just keep them, keep them all charged up and have one. And when it goes dead, take it and throw it and uh, throw it in the bin to get charged up and then stick a second one on. That's just kind of how I would run things. But like I said, I'm not your dad. You can make your own decisions. But, um, yeah, so that's it for these here Night Buddy style headlamps. Um, again, changed me, changed my mind on these things. And, um, yeah, I guess that's about it for this. Any questions, comments, concerns, you can leave them down in the old comments section. I will do my best to get back to you. And uh, I'd like to thank you for watching. There you go.